It turns out that the math section is one of the easiest ones to raise on the ASVAB. So go ahead and check out this video where I'm going to break down a few of the mathematical questions just so you can get the practice that you need. For number 11, you need to know two formulas, the formula for perimeter and formula for area of a square. So perimeter is just when you add up all the sides together. Well, in a square, all four sides are the same. So essentially, you have this side plus this side plus this side plus this side, meaning that you would have four sides altogether. So if I wanted to know what one of these sides are, I can just take the perimeter and divide that by four. So 32 divided by four is going to give me eight. That means one of these side lengths is eight. Now, the area of a square is just length times width, so in this case, that would be 8 times 8, which is answer D, 64. So I actually have a full video on my YouTube and way back in my TikTok that I go through exponent rules because they're just so easy once you know what they are. In this case, we have to simplify this if x is never equal to 0. They have that there because you can't have 0 on the bottom of a fraction, so they're just eliminating that by throwing it in right off the bat. Now, because this is a fraction, we can reduce the numbers out front right away because we're not adding or subtracting at all in here. So 6 divided by 2 is going to end up giving me 3. Now, by the quotient rule, we know that if we have x exponents of the same variable, x and x here, then you can just subtract the exponents to get what is left over. So in this case, I have that x, and we have x raised to the sixth power, minus 2 would give me 4. So our final answer should be 3x to the fourth power, which is c. For number 13, you need to know two things. The sum means that you're adding them all together, and the product means that you're multiplying them all together. So we're supposed to find out which one of these guys down here, that when you add all the digits, it would be equal to multiplying all the digits. Well, because we're multiplying by all ones here, that's just going to be one, and if you add those together, it would give you three. So those are not the same. Then we have here two times two times zero would give us zero, because anything times zero is zero, but adding them together would give us four. So those are not the same. Down here at C, we have 3 plus 2 would be 5, plus 1 is 6, and then we have 3 times 2 is 6, and then times 1, it will stay 6. So those are indeed equal, which means our answer here is C. 14 is essentially asking if you know how to deal with fractions in an equation. So it says if x is 1 over 8, so I'm going to plug this in, 2 over 1 over 8 is equal to y over 4. And then we have to solve for y here. Well, whenever you're dividing by a fraction, you can just multiply by the reciprocal, which means you flip it upside down. So really, this is just 2 times 8 divided by 1. Well, the divide by 1 will be nothing, so 2 times 8 is 16. So now I have 16 is equal to y divided by 4. Well, if we're dividing to move this to the other side, we have to multiply both sides by 4. That cancels this guy out here, and 16 times 4 is going to end up giving me 64, and then we're only left with y. So our final answer, 64, which is d. Number 15 is all about rules of a transversal. If you don't know what that is, it's when you have two parallel lines and one line going through them, then in that case, there's lots of rules that have to deal with these angles. And the way it works is this. If this guy is x, then this guy is x, and this guy is x, and this guy is x. And all the rest of them are going to be our y's. So there's really only two different ones here that you have to worry about. So it says here, what's the value of x plus y? Well, if you notice, this is a straight line right here, which means it's 180 degrees on each side, making a full 360. So x plus y is always 180 degrees in a transversal. Now, people, that's only five questions off the ASVAB. So make sure you check out my other videos so that you can keep raising your score in the math sections of the ASVAB. And remember, my name is Daniel Caproni. If you want to help me out in any way, shape, or form, go ahead and hit that like button below. And make sure you subscribe so you can keep getting videos like this one. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I wish you best of luck on your next attempt at the ASVAB.